We have uh, moving on to 2018. Um, do we have, we have two bidders for 2018 that I'm aware of. Is there an agreement as to order or will it be alphabetical? Uh, al alphabetically, first we would have uh, New Orleans. All right. Uh, you have um, eight, minutes. eight minutes. If you save more time than three and a half minutes, you'll get the award instead of Pablo. Well, I'll work on that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the presentation in for New Orleans in 2018, please go. All right, while I'm talking, we have a little walking tour without sound that we're, they're going to play here. This is just the immediate area, starting from the hotel and things that are in um, the vicinity of our venue. Hi, my name is Ray Boudreau. You probably, all right, there I go. Oh, wow, cool. There. All right, and don't move. Um, all right, the, um, you, um, a lot of you probably first saw me at, um, in 2008 at Denvention when we announced the bid. We've, um, we've come a long way since then. Uh, we've made a lot of promises to you because you, in all honesty, don't necessarily know a lot of us from, from Adam. So we've had to, and we have promised to, let you know that we are capable of running a Worldcon. We have a great city. Um, I think everyone knows that. Um, the, the city itself sells itself. We needed to sell ourselves so that you have a great world con. So um, I'm here to tell you where we are and at the business meeting and at the um, Fanish Inquisition in Kansas City. Um, I'll repeat myself a little and accept some more questions. First of all, yes, we have a venue. Our venue will be the Hyatt Regency, um, which is connected to the um, Mercedes-Benz Superdome. The Hyatt Regency is a brand new convention facility, which the Hyatt Regency, which is a long time hotel, connected to the Superdome, um, has built out. It is 200,000 square feet plus, um, and um, 2,000 rooms? Um, uh, just under 1,200 1, rooms? Um, plus, there is an adjoining, a new adjoining hotel. Mike Wilmoth will um, give you a little more information about that and answer some of your questions. A lot of these things were um, addressed in our FAC. The, um, and after this, um, af after this event, we're going to have a little soiree up in, the, um, up in Suite 677. If you're not attending the um, statistics seminar or if you've been eliminated early, um, by all means, come by, have a drink. Um, eat and ask us some more questions and meet us some more. We, um, uh, we are bidding for August 22nd through 26th, I believe, which will be the week before um, Southern Decadence, if, um, which is the um, Labor Day weekend. If you don't know anything about Southern Decadence, Southern Decadence is one of the largest LBGTQ festivals in the country. The, um, they normally get 130,000 people plus at um, Southern Decadence. It fills, the, it, it fills the hotels in the area. So even if we wanted to do Labor Day weekend, we couldn't. But um, if, you're, if, if Southern Decadence is something you're interested in, or if New Orleans is something you're interested in, what we encourage you to do is to come for the two weeks. Um, go see New Orleans before, see New Orleans after, and um, come and do Worldcon in the middle. The, um, our convention will, our goal here has been to bring fandom as we know it, world fandom, to the Gulf Coast where it hasn't been since for 30 years now, but as of 2018. It will also be the 300th anniversary of the founding of the city of New Orleans. Not only do we want to bring fandom, though, to New Orleans. We want to bring New Orleans to world fandom. The, one of our strengths as a city has always been the ability to stay rooted in our traditions, but move forward into the future. They change. When I first went to world, the first world con I went to was Atlanta Confederation 1986. I'll never forget that sense 
of going to a Worldcon for the first time. I'll never forget walking out that door and seeing all of the world, science fiction writ large. And what we want to do is bring that excitement to our Worldcon. We will, and you do that by having good programming that starts on time, that um, covers a variety of areas, by having a good facility that, um, for the big events that are adequate for um, the events, for the Hugos, for the masquerade, and our facility has all of that. Another thing I promised was that we would reach out to world fandom to, to, bring new peop to, to bring people from outside who had the experience, who had those areas that we um, didn't have, and um, listen to them, bring them on board, and make them part of our convention. And um, today I've got uh, Mike Wilmoth here, who um, has been um, very much involved in fandom over the, um, over the last how, eons, um, since time immemorial. And um, he's going to take a second to talk a little bit more about our facilities and about the, um, the people we brought on board with our bid. Hi, everyone. Most of you already know me. Mike Wilmoth. I was the vice chair for Sasquan over the back of the house divisions. And I agreed to take on the facilities work for New Orleans. And uh, we've got uh, just under 200,000 square feet at the hotel, just under 1,200 rooms. The hotel is giving us like 1,150 of those rooms, much to our surprise. And there's uh, almost 500 king rooms, over 500 double rooms, about 100 suites. There's a ton of space in there. And we've got a lot of options on how to use it. Um, we've got a number of people uh, involved with the, uh, the bid. Uh, Debbie Chowdhury and Rebecca Smith are our bid co-chairs. Uh, should we win the bid, uh, Raymond Boudreau and I would be the co-chairs of the convention. Um, we've also got a number of people helping with uh, foreign language translations on our website. Uh, we've already gotten uh, Spanish translation and um, German translation and Japanese translation sent to the webmaster, so that should be up shortly. Uh, we're also working on uh, French and Chinese and several other languages. So, Mandarin. Oh, yeah, Mandarin Chinese. So we're going to uh, um, work on the diversity issue. Uh, there's a lot of built-in diversity within the New Orleans fandom and New Orleans itself. And we're working on the diversity side within the Fanish side as well. Um, so we hope that uh, you will consider us for the, the vote for 2018. And uh, I'll turn it back over to Ray. Well, as I say, we'll have, we'll have our questions. We have our, our fact. I don't want to bore you with a lot of numbers. But um, New Orleans is a destination city. We, um, besides, the, um, besides Southern Decadence, um, uh, the previous month in July, we'll be the host for the 25th Essence Festival, which is primarily held in the Superdome. Es the Essence Festival is one of the, if not the largest, African-American musical um, and cultural events in the, in the country. We're, we're at time. Yeah, a, a half million people will be there. Okay. Les right. de bon temps, really. All right, thank you very much. Okay, we'll do question and answer time for all the 2018 bits together. <laughs>